Why are horses shot? Should the lives of suffering and no longer useful horses be ended? Horses are probably the most charismatic creatures of the animal kingdom. Both their anatomical structure and their attachment to humans made them a symbol of power, trust and loyalty. For 6,000 years, horses have been one of the most important parts of human life. Since 1940, horses have been the most important participants in a treatment method called hippotherapy. This treatment is still used today as it benefits some physical and mental disorders such as autism, strokes, head trauma and behavioral disorders. Horses can be more important to people of all ages than you think. They can be used for mental and physical relaxing such as muscle building, body balance, self-esteem and movement control. Why do horses that are so useful and loyal to people have to die once their legs are broken? Or why do humans put an end to this life? Horses have a high blood circulation of the bone, and almost all living species with the same bone system are treated similarly. If a bone is broken for any reason, heavy bleeding occurs in this area. With the right treatment methods, these bleedings regenerate the cartilage, and the cartilage again regenerates the bone structure in this area over time. The fractures heal for about 10 to 16 weeks and return to their original condition. The most important thing in this process is patience and rest. So a noble animal like a horse cannot show this patience and stability when its feet are broken? The answer is no, because they have a different anatomical system than any other living being. A human can only spend 20% of his life standing. However, horses have to stand on their legs for 80% of their lives. Because a horse in sitting or lying position puts a lot of weight on its lungs, and this makes breathing more difficult. Horses even sleep standing up. The main reason why horses can stand so long is a special system in their knee joint. This system allows them to stay in balance while using less energy. However, they cannot distribute their weight which is about half a ton, evenly on their legs. In any case, the front two legs are loaded more heavily. For this reason, the most common fracture of the leg occurs in the front two legs. There is not enough blood in the bone structure and muscles in this area. When a bone fracture occurs, the insufficient amount of blood to form cartilage leads to severe inflammation in that area. After waking up from a three to four hour anesthesia due to their bone structure and nature, horses usually try to get up with their still injured legs covered with bandages and screws. This prolongs the healing process and the already weakened legs can be broken more severely. Horses can only remain in a lying position while giving birth. Otherwise, they cannot show the patience and stability which is necessary for the healing process. Therefore, horses, whose feet are broken, are likely to die if they cannot return to their natural lives. Of course, today's technology has put an end to the idea of killing horses so that they don't suffer any longer. If the fractures are not severe, horses can now be treated with the help of a scaffold around them. If you want to get more information like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like our videos. It should not be forgotten that the prevention of injuries is much more important for the protection of horses from suffering than the treatment process after the break. Keep in mind, no living creature deserves to be killed. For where power diminishes, loyalty begins. Keep it in mind.